Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Native. So today we are going to talk about the infinite loading list view in React Native using flat list. So it's going to be infinite loading. So when you scroll down, it's load the data. Okay, so we have implemented this one. So let's see how we are going to do that. Before those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share or comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that. So I'm going to just reload the data. And now you can see first loader then next then if i if this is the, the click button okay the alert the same one if i going to scroll this one you can see there is a loader again i'm loading the next data then again the next data okay so how we are going to implement this in a react native okay we we'll use the help with the help of the flat list so let's dive into the code level okay so here the rest of the phenomena which we have done in the previous one the same but little bit something twist over here okay so first we are using the react use state and the use effect okay i think you i i'm came to know that you know about the react use state and the use effect these are the react native component safe area view text style share and flat list that we are using then we have the initial state initialization that is loading set loading data source set data source offset and the is list end or not so this is another in the use effect we are calling the get data where we have the api call okay so if not loading and is not list end okay so until or unless it works if the not loading and the list is not end then we are calling the api okay with the offset okay so here we have the API call if the length is greater than zero then we are increasing the offset and then set data source cloning all the data that then we have then all the data from the response JSON okay then set loading to be false else set a list end to be true that means list would be end and set loadings to be false and the next try catch error okay render footer that is a previous in previous video we have told about you the render footer render footer is basically the loader in activity indicator okay so that will go with here that is a black okay then we have the item view the same thing that we are just it's a text in uh, we are showing the item in the upper case then we have item separator you can see that the item separator that we have already okay the horizontal line next we have the get item okay so when i click on the item then we are getting the item id title okay and the next we have the flat list okay so where we have the data flat list data that is from the data source the extractor item and the index and item separator component is this one rendered item is item view so you can see that the text of this one then we have a on and reached so get a data calling the function on and reach threshold that is 0. Point five seconds okay so these are the things that we have done in the flat list so hope you whenever you have a requirement i think this is a requirement of uh, every project when we have a pagination we have a lot of data definitely this requirement come up and you want like this kind of scenario into your project right so this is that one that you can implement it in your react project so any doubt any query in that just let me know in the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video have a great day